Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam, and I want to talk to you today about cataracts and MSM eye drops. So recently I was having lunch with one of my colleagues, and he was actually pretty skeptical on my approach to help people dissolve cataracts without needing surgery. But he was taking me out to lunch because a number of patients had gone to him uh, who he diagnosed with cataracts and they had come back to him after they had worked with me and he was seeing that the cataracts were gone. So he was pretty dumbfounded. So he wanted to take me out to lunch and pick my brain. And um, I was actually really tickled that uh, he was open-minded enough to want to understand the mechanisms of what I'm doing in terms of cataracts and reducing them naturally. So I would say that in terms of cataracts, this is a metabolism problem in the lens of the eye. And the lens of the eye is called an avascular tissue, which means there's no blood vessels that run directly through the lens of the eye. And the lens is vulnerable for getting its nutrients indirectly from the blood vessels that are surrounding the, the lens, but not running through the lens. So it's, it's an area that is very susceptible to free radical damage, uh, basically metabolic waste. And if we look at it from a cellular point of view, we have these energy producers in the cell called mitochondria. And they produce something called ATP. And ATP helps us create enough energy in the cell to push toxicities away from vulnerable areas, not only in the lens of the eye, but up throughout the body. And when we get toxic, um, a toxic load where we can't get rid of the uh, free radicals, this is when the opacities start to grow on the lens. So, you know, there's lots of research studies that show that people with low levels of glutathione develop cataracts. So glutathione is probably my number one uh, master antioxidant that I'm going to recommend if I start seeing cataracts forming in the eye. Now, one of the products or the molecules that's needed to recycle the glutathione is something called sulfur. This is an organic uh, ingredient. It, it's this sticky, smelly substance that actually is like flypaper. And it attracts these toxicities, not just free radicals, but also even things like heavy metals. And it helps flush them out of the body. So MSM eye drops are a sulfur-based eye drop that actually help reduce inflammation in the eye. They increase eye circulation. They also help uh, increase toxicity removal. Now there's a research study out there that actually says that MSM actually improves cellular permeability. So in addition to using MSM eye drops, what I also use are cataract reversing eye drops. These are homeopathic. And what I do is I have a person put in the MSM eye drops first. So that creates, it creates more cell permeability. And then I have them put in the cataract homeopathic eye drops, and those are able to penetrate and amplify much deeper because the MSM eye drops soften the cellular permeability. So it's a wonderful synergy in terms of working topically to remove uh, opacities and dissolve cataracts in the eyes. So that's my go-to in terms of the eye drops. I also recommend a very high potency eye formula that includes things like um, Lutein, zeaxanthin, astaxanthin, beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-3 fish oil, quercetin, bilberry. I even think uh, trace minerals like things like chromium, selenium, magnesium. I've seen a correlation between difficulty metabolizing carbohydrates and out of control blood sugar levels and cataract formation. So the trace mineral chromium can help balance out uh, those levels. I also think that reducing or eliminating gluten, dairy, and sugar are critically important. I would also uh, supplement with pre-probiotic fiber and probiotics. So you're doing it systemically and you're also working at it topically to increase the metabolism in the lens of the eye and also systemically and metabolically. I would also protect your eyes with a good sun lens from ultraviolet radiation. This is from the sun. I also would recommend blue blocking lenses. I think they're really important 
for not only protecting the lens of the eye, but also the macula of the eye. And these are, um, you know, these blue blocking lenses help protect us from the blue light from all the digital devices. And most of us are on those for at least part, if not all of the day, everything from our phones to our tablets to our computers. I also think visual stress is a big issue in terms of uh, reducing the metabolism and increasing the eye circulation. So my eye exercises on my website are really great for improving the lymph flow, the eye circulation, and just the overall eye health. So that's my message for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take good care.